As he tells the story, in 1963, Thomas Kent Wetherell was dropped off at Smith Hall in Tallahassee with a manual typewriter, a ream of paper, and a box of shotgun shells. By the end of his first semester, he still had typing paper, but the shells were gone. However, Wetherell had many more bullets in his arsenal. TK was a standout football player for the Seminoles under Bill Peterson, a running back who set a record for the longest kickoff return in school history. He was just as successful in the classroom, earning a bachelor's and master's degree in social studies and then a doctorate in educational administration, all from FSU. Returning to his hometown of Daytona Beach, Wetherell became involved in politics, winning a seat in the State House of Representatives where he served for a dozen years and became one of the top 10 legislative leaders according to the Miami Herald. Wetherell chaired the House Appropriations and Higher Education Committees and during his final two years in office was elected Speaker of the House. During this time, he helped FSU secure $38 million to begin funding the University Center Complex, which turned his old football stadium into the largest brick structure in the Southeast United States and a sterling example of land use technique. Following his political career, Wetherill immersed himself in higher education and was selected as president of Tallahassee Community College, where he doubled enrollment and campus buildings, adding 50 new programs and leading TCC to a top 25 ranking for its production of graduates. This success set the stage for Wetherell to become the 13th president of his alma mater and the first alumnus to serve. Wetherell's impact was swift as FSU quickly lured away the Applied Superconductivity Center from the University of Wisconsin and established a new academic concept called Pathways of Excellence. Freshman retention rates for first time in college students soared to 90% and Wetherell established the Office of National Fellowships which guided students to more than 40 national scholarships, including three students who went on to become Rhodes Scholars. Despite a recession, Wetherell wrangled legislative money for buildings. At any one time during his presidency, half a billion dollars of construction was taking place, activity that produced a state-of-the-art Ruby Diamond Concert Hall, a new alumni center, and buildings for chemistry, biological science, psychology, and medicine. Under Wetherell, the College of Medicine earned accreditation, the nation's first in 25 years, and opened six regional campuses and graduated its first class. With an eye on connecting history, Wetherell restored campus traditions like freshman convocation and created the Legacy Walk, which highlighted FSU history across campus. In 2005, Wetherell was faced with preserving another piece of history, the institution's namesake. When the NCAA threatened FSU's use of the Seminole name, Wetherell obtained a historic resolution from the Seminole Tribe of Florida supporting the association. It will go down in history with the other great last stands of the Old West. His work in Westcott complete, Wetherell retired in 2010 with the title of professor in the College of Education and President Emeritus, leaving behind a campus whose academic reputation blossomed even as its budget shrank. In his pursuit of greatness for FSU, T.K. Wetherell fired all of his bullets. For his lifetime of service, the FSU Alumni Association is proud to recognize him with its highest honor, the Bernard F. Sliger Award for Service.